Hey guys, had another chance to get a few more swings on that Larry Carter. Uh, wanted to give an update. Um, hit it yesterday with some spinners with the old guys. Uh, definitely came around. Uh, hit a couple balls. Uh, buddy out there walked him off about 405. So that sweet spot really has come around. So I added a little bit of content at the end of, uh, of the previous final review I did on this bat. Um, Feeling, it was feeling really good. Had a cortisone shot at my knee, so I was a little more loose and able to get a little bit better torque, and that 27 um, definitely came around. So uh, good marks on that on that Larry Carter. Again, that, you know, I talked to you guys about the handle, but uh, stick around, and uh, at the end of the video, after the first review I gave of it, uh, I just added a little bit of more content, and um, just I think I've increased my uh, review of it a little bit. No seams. Still got that thick ass handle, but we're gonna give this its final swings and our final thoughts on this one too. Go <laughs> said, how that be? Wow. Easy to go from the 27 down down to 26 or 25. Right. The other one. It's not the ball. I'm on the ball. Thanks, Rich. Told you. I have the Larry Carter. D-Marini. Sunday Swagger. Chicken bat. Whatever. Uh, let, let me tell you what I think about this thing. So, I have not gotten the seam on this one that they talk about. Um, much like a lot of the senior bats... There's a really good sweet spot on here. When I find it, it's it's really good. And it's, you know, it's competitive. It's as long as most other things. Um, I would do a disservice giving this a full review right now because this is a 27. And to me, with this thick-ass handle, uh, it swings like a log for me. Uh, I have bad shoulders, bad knee, and I just don't generate the, you know, the controlled velocity that I would need to to swing this 27 with power. Now, with that said, when I dialed in dead red, swinging hard, 
uh, and found that sweet spot. I mean, it, it, it sends it pretty good. So no, no complaints about it. Um, you, you'll have different people who have different opinions on the handle thickness. I am not a thick handle guy. Um, I like a thin handle. This one is just a little big for me. I got it as thin as I can with the tape. Um, so I think I'd be better off swinging a 27 in this one. Um, this one has the alloy handle and the composite barrel. Uh, the Paul Sadler, my teammate, hey Paul, um, is the all composite handle and barrel. Hit that uh, a few times, hit it good. Um, I don't have a review on it. I don't own one to, to get a full review on it. Um, but all in all, I would like to follow up with a lighter version of this. But for my, you know, again, if I were a factory DeMarini player, I'd find the right weight. I'd have no issue with the performance on the barrel. I wouldn't control this bad. If I had to walk out there with 27, I wouldn't be in control. I'd be just swinging. You know, I, at one point in the video when I'm hitting this one, I'm literally talking about I'm, I hit it good, but it's only because I'm just swinging hard. I'm not, I'm not controlling it. I'm swinging it to make sure that I'm getting it in the zone as the pitch is coming because it, I don't have quick hands with this at all. You know, blame that on me, not the bat. So with that said, not a bad bat at all. Uh, I don't do a top 10 or anything. Um, not for me, you know, as a gamer, but uh, good bat. So take care, guys. One Mississippi. <coughs> I guess it wasn't bad, Rick. <laughs> it is a little heavy. I think Thing you're tall. Too fast. Too fast. Quick. 